for the Voltec battery, which is right here. And this is our latest generation battery. It was designed and engineered by our engineering teams both here in Michigan, in Miami Falls, New York, and in Meisterstadt, Germany. It represents the fifth design iteration on our road to production in the Volt. And if we reference this chart back here, uh, we can show you how we moved from our beginnings about one and a half years ago. Um, one and a half years ago was our first design iteration. Uh, we delivered our pack in November 2007. Actually, it was two packs. Those packs are still on test in the lab today. And we're built strictly to prove that this pack package, this pack capacity could be built and would function. Uh, we then expanded uh, soon after into our engineering development vehicle phase, where we proved that these concept packs could in fact be integrated into a uh, electric, extended range electric vehicle propulsion system. Approximately one year ago, we then started our mule phase. The mule vehicle is the vehicle you saw drive on stage today. We built approximately 25 um, vehicle packs and 25 lab packs. And this was a major effort to bring our couple development program to an end and prove that in significant numbers, we could in fact uh, solve this problem. At that point, we made our commitment to our production development phase, which is the phase right now. We had a small risk reduction pro program at the beginning of this year. We referred to the DV1 pack, which is our full production and 10 pack design, which led to what you see here today. This pack was built as part of this build program starting last month. On a scale of 100, we have approximately 75 lab packs, 85 vehicles, and over 100 packs dedicated just for qualification of our manufacturing system. All told, you can see that to date we've built over 100 packs, and by the end of the third quarter of this year, we'll have built over 300 packs. That, by the way, are more packs than some of our electric vehicle competitors have ever built in, in their history, but represents what's required in order to meet the quality and performance of our customers. This isn't just an experiment, this is not a kit car, this is a, a true volume production vehicle. Um, inside we have of course over 200 lithium ion cells from our supplier LG Chem. These are advanced lithium ion polymer as been stated before. Uh, over 200 designed into a proprietary structure that integrates the cells physically, mechanically, also their electric busing through their high voltage tabs, uh, sensing and a very advanced thermal management system. Controlling the temperature of the cells is critical to both performance and long life. Uh, the pack also includes control electronics. We have multiple microprocessors in the pack. We have our high voltage switch gear at the front. You can see our input output on the front of the pack. We also have our structural tray, which is an integral part of the vehicle structure. It contributes to the body stiffness as well as crash performance. We also bring in the, what's referred to as the four bar, another structural component of our body structure. Um, we close the entire pack in a uh, environmentally sealed uh, uh, enclosure. Uh, it seals the pack to dust and water. The pack is mounted underneath the vehicle, so it is key that this is completely water and dust proof. Uh, it also includes an aerodynamic closeout to improve aerodynamics on the vehicle, as well as an insulation package to maintain uh, battery time while the vehicle is off and on the clock. The design has changed in every detail from the very first pack, but at this point is comprised of 155 unique part numbers. Um, those 155 unique part numbers um, are key because 147 of them were designed and engineered by General Motors. It is truly our design, uh, working with our key suppliers, for instance, with solids uh, like LG Chem. The pack also represents uh, another major milestone in that it completely supports high volume manufacturing. Uh, our battery plant was announced recently here in Michigan, and we will be producing these uh, packs in very, very high volume. To give you an idea of what kind of volume we're talking about, uh, we have a, a small, uh, small illustration here. When we're up to full line rate, our annual battery production will exchange over three terawatt hours of energy through their life in the vault. So it's one year's worth of batteries. That's three billion kilowatt hours of energy processed in and then of course out of the battery during its life. That's the same amount of energy produced by Hoover Dam in about nine months. So we're talking about a serious number of batteries, very high capacity batteries, and we think it clearly shows General Motors' commitment 
to electrification of vehicles. Now, can I take any questions? 